Welcome to the eProofs instructional video, which provides useful information and helpful tips to assist you in easily navigating the Carlson Craft eProof system. The eProof system is designed to allow you the ability to share proofs with your customers while ensuring a quality product upon approval. If you're not familiar with eProofs, have questions about the system, or simply want to learn more, please sit back, relax, and take a few minutes to check out our video. We hope our instructions will help ease any questions you may have about the eProof system. If you request a proof with a Carlson Craft order, you will receive an email describing your proof, including order number, a short description about eProofs, and a link. To get started, click on the link provided in the email, which will redirect you to the eProofs website. Once you arrive at the eProofs site, enter your Carlson Craft account number and name. Please note that the name you enter must be at least three characters in length. Once you're logged into the system, you have several different options while in the Proof Manager page. To view the page that will allow you to make changes, ask questions, and approve your proof, you can select either click here to review items or click on the appropriate eProof icon under the review column. By selecting click here to review items, you will be able to view all parts of the order, while clicking the eProof icon under the review column will allow you to view selected parts individually. Also within the Proof Manager page is the ability to provide a PDF proof to your customer. If you'd like to send your customer a copy of the proof, click Forward Proof Images by email. After selecting your preferred method of viewing, begin proofing your items. After making changes to an item if necessary, you must select a response. If a response is not indicated and saved for each item, your order will remain on hold, so please remember that you must click Save Your Response after selecting an answer for each part of the proof and not just when you finish making changes to all parts. If you aren't ready to approve a part of the order, select Waiting to Respond until all proofs are completed. This option will only be available for selection if you choose Request Another Proof for at least one other part of the order. Once you've properly changed and approved all parts of your proof, you will receive confirmation that your proof has been sent and will also have the option to print a confirmation transcript. This transcript is only available upon proof approval. You will be unable to access the transcript again unless more proofs are requested, so please print or save the transcript immediately if necessary. If you have questions about the eProof system, please feel free to contact our customer service department. We'd love to help walk you through the proofing process, but before you give us a call, check out these helpful tips that might be the answer to your question. If you'd like to send the proof on to your customer, it's very important that you use the button labeled Forward Proof Images by Email, instead of forwarding your customer the initial email you received from Carlson Craft. By clicking Forward Proof Images by Email, you are ensuring that you are in control of the proof approval process. Your customer will receive only PDF images of the proof and will not have the ability to potentially access your eProofs account and approve proofs without your knowledge. If we have a question noted in the box titled, Our Questions to You, you will not be able to approve the proof as is. Please select either the option to approve with changes or request another proof. Type in your answer to the question as well as any changes you have to the proof in the box underneath the response options. A double-sided item will have two separate proof images. If you are looking at one side, click the next page arrow to view the other side. If you need to make changes to a two-sided item, please note changes for both sides in one box since there will not be a box for each side of the item. If you've already approved a part of the ensemble and need to indicate additional changes, you can list those changes on another part of the proof. For example, if you've already approved the respond card and need to make a change, you can indicate those changes on the thank you note piece. Simply be specific and detailed by indicating what piece of the ensemble the change is for. 
Still have questions about eProofs? Follow along while we address some commonly asked questions about the system. First off, you may be wondering how to print a proof to retain for your records. If you'd like to print the proof, you have two options. You can either click the blue Print Page button above the proof picture, which will print the entire page as you see it on your screen. Or you can also click Full Preview, which will provide you with a PDF version of the image itself. This will allow you to print just the proof image and not the entire web page. Having problems saving your changes? Don't forget that when you choose one of the four response options after making changes to a part of your order, you must save each response by clicking Save Your Response. Unsure if we've received your updates? After you've responded to all items on the proof and saved your responses for each, you will receive a message saying, Order cannot be changed at this time. This means that we have received your changes or approval. Didn't receive the message telling you that your proof had been submitted? If any item in the proof manager is labeled incomplete, you must respond to that item before we will receive any of the information for your changes or approval. For example, if you only need changes made on the reception card and want a second proof, you must select Request Another Proof, type in your changes, and click Save Your Response. Then, for every other item, even if you don't need changes made, you must select a response and save each of those responses as well. Thanks for taking the time to learn more about eProofs. If you have questions about the video or about eProofs itself, please contact our customer service department at the phone number or email listed. Are you interested in checking out more informational videos from Carlson Craft? Stop by our YouTube channel or log into carlsoncraft.com. And don't forget to drop by often. We're constantly working to provide you with useful training tutorials, tips, and guides.